everyone, it's PerryXO here, and welcome back to another commentary video. Yes, finally, I'm using a voice audio. I know I suck at doing that, but sometimes I'm available to record my voice, and sometimes I'm not, depending on if it's, you know, a lot of noises going on, or if I have the time. But for once, I do have the time to record my voice for a commentary video, because I've been thinking quite a lot about this for about maybe two plus years, ever since Jesse left the group, and it's... What if Jesse never left Little Mix? What would have happened? Would things have been different? Obviously things would have been different. That's pretty damn obvious. So I thought that as a disclaimer, you all should know that this is just me discussing the whole theory. I am in no way saying that this is what would have actually happened as it never happened and it probably would have went differently from what I'm gonna say but as an OD4 mixer I've been really thinking about as of the past two years maybe if things would have been completely different if Jesse never left the group and how things would have been in the fandom and everything so Right before we go into the whole theory, we have to look back to 2020 when Jessie actually left the group. So she left due to mental health reasons, but then she made her solo debut not long after, which she received a lot of criticism for. She received a lot of hate and stuff regarding her debut, which we will not be discussing in this video. And I don't want people to discuss that in the comment section either, because it's completely irrelevant to the topic of this video, because this is gonna discuss about if Jesse stayed. Let's get straight into it. If you guys remember, there has been talks about when Little Mix originally was meant to go on a quote-unquote hiatus slash disband the group. And it was said that it was originally planned. I don't have any links to confirm this, but I've heard this and you probably have too. But it was said that they were originally gonna go on a quote-unquote hiatus slash disband already when the confetti era was done. But due to the pandemic and Jesse leaving, they had to postpone everything. And I personally think, let's say Jesse never left the group, right? She was still there and the confetti era continued on as usual. There was still a pandemic going on, which meant they had to postpone the tour anyway. And now we know that they released the confetti music video SF3 and everyone has been saying that, oh, but it would have, have happened if Jessie was still in the group due to her being insecure and because they were their male versions of themselves that Jesse would never agree on doing that, but we never know if she would. There is a high chance that the reason they never did that concept is because she was insecure, but if she stayed, they maybe would have done a completely different concept to Confetti. It was probably gonna still be around the same vibe, but that they wouldn't have done male versions of themselves. I still think it's quite hard to discuss the whole point of what they would do with the music videos, because we don't know what Jesse is thinking. Maybe it would have been a lot harder to go out there with concepts due to limiting things thanks to her body image issues. We never know. So we can't go way too deep into that. But we would have still obviously got an A music video and hopefully featuring Saweetie on that as well. That would have been very slay to have OD4 featuring her. It's still slay as an OD3 featuring Saweetie. I really like that version of Confetti to be honest. It feels less empty. And even though I really like the OD4 version of Confetti, I feel like the OD3 version is very full in terms of instrumental and everything. How it's composed in that version is a lot more fuller and more like lively, which I like. It's more lively. I think that in one way or another Between Us would have still happened. We don't know if it would still be called Between Us. Some say that they called it Between Us because they became a three and some say it's because it's because of like the bond between the fans and Little Mix, we never know. I still think though, however, that they would be celebrating the decade together as a four if Jesse stayed in the group, because obviously they would. Um, how we would celebrate it is still a question. I think we, maybe, maybe, if we are lucky if she stayed there, that we would have gotten yet another album. Hopefully, but we never know considering the fact that Perry and Leanne became pregnant I still think that would have still happened regardless if she stayed in the group or not. That's kind of funny, but 
We would have probably most likely still gotten between us, but it's just the four of them and not three. I think the only song that we probably would have never gotten is Cut You Off because that song is about Jesse. I think they would have made just another song of some sort. I still stand by the fact that they were running out of ideas by the end and that's completely fine because they have their run and they were done. So, however, Between Us would have most likely still happened. Everything would have just been OT4 version instead of 3. And I think that... Because if she never went on that break or left the band, we would have gotten, obviously, more OD4 performances. We would have had her at the Brits when they won that big award for best group for the first time. Everything would just be of the four of them, obviously. I think that's pretty damn obvious. Um, and this is, let's remember that this is if the, if the pandemic happen still because we can't really think of a scenario of which if the pandemic never happened because it's quite obvious if the pandemic never happened that they would have disappeared as a group already back when confetti era was done which would have probably been around 2021 um, and not 2022 but we would have had her at the Brits she would probably either be drunk or something I know she would have been wild and she was proud of them Still, even when she had left the group, she congratulated them, if you don't remember that. I don't know, for some reason, when they did that reaction to their old music videos, I don't know if that would have happened if Jessie was still in the group, because she did confirm in her own documentary that she released years ago that she can't look back on old footage. Now, there's a video out there where they do look back on old footage, and you can see that she's visually uncomfortable, so I'm not sure, maybe it would have happened, maybe it wouldn't. I don't think it would because she was uncomfortable with watching back on old footage. And I love that video when they watch back on old music videos because it was fun to see their older selves look back on their younger selves and admire their own work. And as for the other videos that they did during the Between Us era and the interviews, they would probably still happen obviously because that was scheduled and... Jessie would have probably still been there, unless she would have been more absent because of her mental health. And then we're moving on to the confetti tour, which would have obviously still been postponed due to the pandemic, because that's why it was postponed. And I think that obviously we would have gotten OD4 performances, like OD4 versions of these songs instead, um, like the ones from Confetti and from Between Us. Um, I really hope that we would have still gotten the rock version of Woman Like Me with Jessie because she would have slayed that, to be honest. Um, and the whole Black Magic dance break with the geography, she would have slayed that as well. Maybe I'm just a hater when it comes to the whole confetti tour, um, but maybe the styling would have been a lot different. I personally wish they changed up the styling regardless if she stayed in the band or not because I only like one or two outfits from the confetti tour because... Whoever made the choice of those outfits needs to be in jail, seriously. I think that she would have still brought the energy that she always did during tour. Maybe it would have looked more even on stage because I think when, when I watched the performances the first time during the confetti tour when it was just starting it felt really empty with not her have, like with not her on stage because she was always the hype woman. And it looked more even when they were four. It still stayed as a three, but I'm saying that maybe it would have not felt as empty if she, you know, was there. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think not much would have been different because we don't know exactly what would have happened. But that's... There's one thing that I'm not mentioned yet, and it's her mental health. Because... I feel like despite if you like her or not, you can't invalidate the fact that she do struggle or have struggled with mental health. It's completely wrong of you if you have invalidated her mental health, being struggly and her suffering with stuff. Despite of you hating her, it's not right to do that. And if we think about her mental health for an example, I think that if she stayed and never took the step to leave, I think that by the time they went on their little quote-unquote hiatus or disbanded, it would have taken a big toll on her mental health. I think it would have been worse 
than it was when she did leave um, because she stayed a lot longer than she should have. I think personally, if I were to choose, and this is not me saying it out of spite, mind you, I'm saying this out of pure sympathy for her, is that she should have left the first time she wanted to leave, which was already a couple eras ago. And she was either forced by the label or was convinced by the other girls to stay. When it comes to the whole fandom, obviously if she stayed, it would have been divided as it was by the time of 2020 to 2022 and present time. I think we would have still been a very united fandom. There would have been a lot of drama that would have never happened, obviously. I think Mixers would have still been one big family. Um, because no matter if you actually liked her in the band when she still was there, I don't think there was a being... I don't think it would have been as much Jesse hatred out on social media as it is right now. That's pretty much what I think. It's not that much to discuss. And I wonder what you think. If Jesse never left the group and if things would have been a lot different or if you think things would have been pretty much the same. Thanks for watching this video and I know this is really really random but I just really 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 want to discuss this with you guys.